What's up, Scorpio? It's your girl, Ivy Ladone, your fitness mystic. And today we're gonna connect with the Oracle of the Mermaids to see what messages would like to come forward for you for the month of June, 2023. All right, let's dive right in. Highest vibrational messages for the sign of Scorpio for the month of June, 2023. Thank you for these messages. Highest vibrational messages for Scorpio. All right. So this can pertain to your career. This can be regarding your health. This could be regarding your romance, right? Your intimacy or your partnerships. Uh, this can also just be regarding your self-development, like where you are on your journey at this time in the month of June, 2023. The, the mermaids are more so connected to your emotions and your emotional health. Um, and then that connection of you, that, that connection of you to the earth. You know like your yeah your your like earth self your connection to nature they're very much connected to that so the messages that come forward are filled with that kind of vibration okay all right so highest vibrational messages for scorpio for the month of june 2023 any other messages that would like to come forward for the sign scorpio all right scorpio let's take a look all right, my friends. So, ooh, take what resonates, leave the rest. We're going to read this in the order of the numbers at the top. So you have number 31, Coral's Wisdom, Colony, Delicacy, Fragility, Works That Are Created Over Great Periods of Time. So take what resonates, leave the rest. This is the first card that came through for you. And then the second card that comes through is Endurance, Keep Going. Okay, it says keep going. So for the month of June 2023, what can we say? So the mermaids are saying to you like, hey Scorpio, um, you may be either burnt out or you may either be um, maybe a little restless in your energy, meaning like you, there's a lot that you want to do and accomplish. Like you're just like on this go, go, go mentality. Like I've got this, I'm, I've been doing good. Um, I know what I want right now. I have my eyes set right on the prize. Um, I want to accomplish it. I'm so close. How many ways can I get there? You're in this 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 momentum of like rising of energy of accomplishment of new boss mode. I mean, in the astrology, it shows as well, right? Like collect your coins, Haney. But I will say that this card coming through is is telling you the mermaids are saying like, hey, this takes time. This takes time. Be patient with yourself. Like, yes, yes, you, you have all this energy. That's great. You have all this prepping and planning. That's great. You have all this energy and you're doing the thing. That's great. But then also, don't take a step back just because you don't see the result right now. You're planting seeds. And then those seeds, they take time to sprout. And then from them, they have time. They, they need time to then grow and then grow even more. So like equally, all the things that you're planting, like they take time. So this card is saying like, chill out for a second, you know, and like equally keep going. Don't stop and get frustrated and like, oh no, I, never mind. This isn't going to work. Forget it. I'm going to go back to my addiction. I'm going to go back to that guy. I'm going to go back to that thing. I'm going to go back to this. Forget all no it's saying stop all of that keep going and then the bottom of your deck is saying if you feel like you're a little bit like ah lost in the sauce take time out the bottom of the deck is also here for that so so you literally have the energies of like keep going and then time out this can be looked at and interpreted in so many ways it can be like you literally going and stopping you going and stopping this can also mean like keep going and also take time for yourself like just because you work and you let's say you go on this live and you're doing your thing let's just pretend you're an influencer you're going on your live every day and then on one day let's say sunday you're like i'm exhausted i'm kind of a little bit eh. i know if i go I, I know that if i show up on this live i'm not going to give my best energy it's saying like okay so then take time out and then go right back into it and keep going like find that pace it's also saying like if you find out that you're like you're, you're really like success hungry if you're really accomplishment hungry and you're doing all the things like sometimes it's good to just take time out like with yourself and just pause disconnect from the work disconnect from the project disconnect from like the momentum 
for a second, you know, and then keep going. Okay. So if you need some help with that, uh, Scorpio, if you need some assistance with like, uh, you know, winding down and like finding a moment for yourself and being present, I can totally help with that. In fact, I would recommend for you to take a look at the series, uh, because the series has some stuff there that will definitely benefit you. Okay. Other than that, thank you so much, Scorpio, and I'll see you in the next one.